Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So there is another question today saying the ecogenic anterior wall of the right portal vein which measures more than 4 mm is seen in. Options are choledocal cyst, Caroli's disease, biliary atresia or none of these. So here the answer is biliary atresia. So today's topic of discussion is biliary atresia. So let's discuss. So biliary atresia presents as neonatal jaundice. That is jaundice in neonates of less than 30 days. On lab investigation, there is conjugated hyperbilirubinemia. Okay. Biliary atresia by, by words it means there is atretic biliary radicals so biliary atresia is actually the fibrosis of extra hepatic biliary radicals at porta hepatis which may or may not extend into the liver okay so it is atretic extra hepatic biliary radicals in cases of biliary atresia, the obstruction can be at various levels, according to which we have classified them into three types. There is type 1, where there is obstruction at the level of the CBD. There is type 2A, where there is obstruction at the common hepatic duct. There is type 2B, where there is obstruction at the level of the common hepatic duct, the cystic duct and the common bile duct as well. And in case of type 3 biliary atresia, there is involvement or obstruction at the level of the right hepatic ducts, left hepatic duct, the common hepatic duct, the cystic duct as well as the common bile duct. So, uh, in cases of biliary atresia, USG has an important role in diagnosing this condition. Uh, in cases of ultrasound, in patients of biliary atresia, there are several important signs which can be demonstrated. Like the first one is the triangular cord sign. Triangular cord sign. This is the longitudinal ultrasound scan which is showing the uh, hyper echoic that is echogenic thing just anterior to this portal vein okay which is this is the fibrotic this is the fibrotic cbd anterior to the bifurcation of the main portal vein this is the echogenic anterior wall of the right portal vein okay this is the this thing is the ecogenic anterior wall of the right portal vein that is ecogenic anterior wall of the right portal vein which measures more than 4 mm it's sort of specific for diagnosis of biliary atresia this is known as the triangular cord sign the second ultrasound finding is the ghost gb okay ghost gb normally the gb distends in three to four hours of fasting but in this condition the gb is atretic the gb is atretic uh, the length of the gb the length of this gb measures less than 19 mm less than 19 mm okay the gb has irregular and lobular contour irregular or lobular contour very irregular shape with lack of smooth or complete ecogenic mucosal lining okay mucosal lining so overall the gb is very atretic and irregularly shaped uh, this is known as the ghost gb sign the gb is so small and difficult to see just like a ghost so known as the ghost gb with time if the condition is not treated if this biliary atresia is not treated in two to three months of time the child develops biliary cirrhosis okay biliary cirrhosis 
Once the child develops biliary cirrhosis, the child presents with features of cirrhosis in form of uh, irregularities over the liver surface that is the nodularities of cirrhosis, then ascites, portal hypertension, splenomegaly and prominent hepatic artery prominent hepatic artery okay see this is the triangular cord sign as the ecogenic bright line this is the portal vein and just anterior to this is the hepatic artery this hepatic artery has become very prominent if we take the ri of this hepatic artery it is very raised in cases of this when cirrhosis develops the ri becomes more than 0.75 so the hepatic artery becomes prominent with RI of more than 0.75 and on color Doppler investigation in the subcapsular hepatic regions we can identify the subcapsular hepatic artery branches okay so just to summarize this we have read the neonatal jaundice where in cases of biliary atresia presents as a conjugated hyperbilirubinemia there is fibrosis of extrahepatic biliary radicals at the porta hepatis which may or may not extend into the liver type 1 is obstruction at the level of cbd type 2a is obstruction at level of chd type 2b is the obstruction at chd cystic duct as well as the cbd and type 3 where right hepatic left hepatic duct common hepatic duct cystic duct as well as the common hepatic duct is obstructed or fibrotic ultrasound findings reveal triangular cord sign which is aarpv more than 4 mm ecogenic anterior right portal vein which is seen as a periportal uh, cuffing or periportal ecogenicity then host gb uh, which is identified as atritic gb which has length less than 19 mm and features of biliary cirrhosis like livers like liver surface in uh, liver surface nodularity then splenomegaly then portal hypertension then ascites and prominent hepatic artery as this ri of raised 0.475 and subcapsular hepatic artery branches i hope i made this topic easy uh, for you all uh, so the answer is here is biliary atresia so thank you guys.